Holiday World Final Day Vlogs for 2023. Oh my gosh. Everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I am here with the Holiday World Final Day Vlog for 2023. Today is the final day Holiday World is open here in 2023. You guys know I uh, enjoy going to Holiday World a ton every year and filming the videos. You guys love the amusement park and Holiday World videos. And today we have one final video here in 2023 going up to Holiday World on the final day they are open. Uh, you already know um, I'm going to be vlogging throughout my whole entire day up there today. It's going to be a really exciting day and a action-packed video here to cap off the 2023 amusement park and Holiday World season here with the final day vlog. Before we get started though, make sure you all hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and also leave a like on the video. I know you guys love these Holiday World videos and it's time to start the final day vlog and head up towards Holiday World. We are heading off towards Holiday World. Now for anyone who is new to the channel, new to the Holiday World videos, basically it is a huge theme park that is located around 40 minutes away from where I live and you guys probably know I am a huge amusement park roller coaster fan go to some of the craziest parks across the United States and Holiday World being my home park we obviously go there a ton every year and obviously today going up there on the final day they are open and uh, they are still doing their happy Halloween weekends event so that will be a lot of fun it's gonna be a very action-packed day and right now heading towards Holiday World it into Santa Claus and we are arriving to Holiday World. There's the water tower. You can see the raven right there. We have arrived here at Holiday World for one final time here in 2023. Now we're getting up here actually really late. The park's been open for an hour already right now. So this is what the crowd looks like. It is pretty busy. I didn't think it'd be this busy because it's pretty cold out. I think it's only like uh, 45 degrees or so, but pretty decent crowd. I guess everybody knew it was the last day and they wanted to uh, get up here. Someone just decided to drive a golf cart up here and park it in one of the parking spots. There goes the Raven roller coaster. Hang on, Weight Watch is going to appear out of the trees. There it is. Also, it's cool to come up here during the fall because all the trees and stuff are like in different colors and stuff. So it really looks really cool. Now, some of the leaves are starting to fall since it's kind of getting later in fall. It's also going to be interesting to see the progress they have made on their new roller coaster, Good Gravy. It's been exactly a month since the last time we were up here. So now we'll see the progress they've made in a month's time as they get prepared for their new coaster next year. We have officially made it in here to Holiday World one final time here in 2023. Now with this being the final amusement park video of the season, I thought it'd be a perfect time for a huge announcement. It's time to announce the full schedule for the 2024 amusement park season. is the 2024 amusement park season schedule. Obviously, we don't have dates for some of the spots yet and uh, stuff is still tentative to change, but we will continue to update over the coming months leading up to the next year's season. But 
That is gonna be crazy. We have seven visits here to Holiday World, three to Kings Island, and also me for the first time going to three of the best amusement parks on the planet. One of those obviously being the best amusement park on the planet, I think, in Cedar Point. My first time going to some of those. Next year's amusement park season, going to some of the best parks across the nation. I am super excited. I know you guys are because you love these videos. And now though, it's time to get started with our day. We're going to the voyage. Now though, we've made it into 4th of July and it's time to start riding some rides. We are going and running Usain Bolt speed down to the voyage right now. Oh my, we may have a change of plans here. My favorite ride in the whole park, Tippica News is open. I'm gonna ride this maybe for the next hour. What? There's into the Raging Rapids area. Still mainly looks the same. Uh, I don't know if it'll stay that way by this time next year, but let's look over this way. Yeah, it still looks the same other than there's a tree down. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see the voyage over the trees. We've arrived in Thanksgiving. There actually is a little bit of a line for the voyage, but either way, that's gonna be the first ride of the day. Look at all these hair ties that people have thrown onto the roof. And wait a second, is that someone's credit card? What? So here we go, it is time for our first ride of the day. It's time to ride the voyage. just got off the voyage had basically the front seat that was so much fun voyage one of the best coasters on the planet and did not disappoint for the first ride of the day now though you know what time it is it is time to continue my dominance at gobbler getaway look at that 2700 that has got to be my highest score ever. That's got to be a record at this game. I've got like 2,400 before. 2,700 though. I am miles above a master turkey caller. And look at this. They painted the Plymouth Rock Cafe building. It actually looks really nice. Now we are actually trying to really kind of hurry and stuff because we actually have like some really severe storms on its way. So we're trying to get as much done as possible because I honestly don't know how long those storms are gonna last. They're supposed to be pretty bad. So uh, we're trying to get as much done as fast as possible right now. First though, we gotta check the progress on this. As you see, they have the fence down. You can see everything. They already got the playground up. They're putting the gravy can up that the roller coaster goes through. They have all the footers in and stuff. And when we were on the voyage, you could actually see they have all the track back uh, behind that building over there. So when we go this way towards the corn maze, we'll probably be able to see it. But yeah, they've made a lot of progress and stuff. And uh, next time we'll be here to see it, we'll be on opening day next year and it will be going next year. Next up, we are gonna be riding the Mayflower. Just got off the Mayflower. Uh, we're gonna be heading back towards the Thunderbird in a second, but I wanted to walk this way to uh, see a little bit more progress and also get the track uh, behind this building on camera. There's the Thunderbird. Also back this way is where um, the corn maze is. I don't know if we're going to be doing the corn maze because like I said, there's some really, really bad storms that are only about an hour or so away. And then even if they pass through in like two hours, then it's all going to be muddy back there. And speaking of the storms, I'm actually starting to feel a little uh, rain right now. That's not good. What's crazy, I haven't even noticed this. They have really cleared out the area where Hyena Falls used to be. I feel like the pool and stuff it was at least still there. There goes Thunderbird. 
Maybe kind of good that we're not going back to the corn maze because then I'd probably get lost for about an hour. Also right there, you can see some of the track for good gravy. It said the storms weren't supposed to be here for another hour, but the rain is starting. Obviously it's not like bad rain, it's just sprinkling and stuff. We're gonna head back towards the Thunderbird and try to get that out of the way before the bad storms get here. You know what's crazy is we're about to have severe storms and it's only 45 degrees out. How's that even possible? Now we are heading back towards the Thunderbird. We just got off Thunder. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to vlog over here. What I was saying though, we just got off Thunderbird. It was a lot of fun. The rain is slowly starting to get a little bit stronger. I looked and the uh, severe storms aren't supposed to be here for another like 30 to 45 minutes. So we're gonna try to get as much done as possible in that time. We're heading uh, up towards the um, Halloween section now since we rode everything in Thanksgiving other than I guess Turkey World, but that doesn't matter too much. Plan is, like I said, we're going up to Halloween. We're gonna ride all the main rides in that area and then probably get something to eat. Also, if we time it right, right when we're getting something to eat is probably when the storms will get here. So we'll probably just wait it out there. There is the Halloween section. Now we're probably just gonna ride the Legend and Raven right now. We'll save the flat rides like uh, Hollow Swings and Scrambler for later uh, once the storms are done, if we have time. Coaster number three of the day will be the Legend. Are you kidding me? Frightful Falls is closed? I wanted to ride a water ride. By the way, we got off the Legend. Honestly, the Legend is one of the most underrated roller coasters. Uh, now we're gonna be heading up towards the Raven. Uh, actually, when I said I wanted to ride a water ride, uh, basically I'm riding water rides with the roller coasters, with the rain. Like I mentioned, uh, we're gonna skip uh, some of the flat rides and stuff for now. And uh, once the storms go by, if we do have enough time, we will come back to the flat rides. No dive show? Oh my god, they, they don't even have water in it. They just have a net over it and the diving boards are gone. It's time for the final main coaster and number four of the day, the Raven. Just like that, I am off the Raven. Uh, you guys know how I feel about the Raven. I do enjoy it. Uh, it's a very good layout, but it's pretty rough. And also, I don't know if the cars are smaller on the Raven. We've made it back up to the front of the park and we are going to be eating at Santa's Merry Marketplace here. We're also going to have to do the Halloween and haunted houses and stuff here. Obviously with the happy Halloween weekends going on, they have some haunted houses and stuff, including the 3D house. And we'll probably do that after we get done eating. Look how busy it is here in Santa's Merry Marketplace but we did get some food. I got a slice of pizza and some french fries. This looks really, really good. What was that noise? You've got to be kidding me. Look at it outside. I think the storms are here. So the plan is right now we are heading to the voyage. Honestly though, like, cause I haven't heard any thunder or lightning. So normally they don't shut down when it's just raining and no like storms and stuff. I'm sure it probably has and we just haven't heard it because how loud it is in here. But with it pouring this much, I feel like they have to shut it down. It is around 30 minutes later. As you see, the rain is mainly stopped. It's still sprinkling a little bit. Now, I actually looked and I was wrong. We had that 30 minutes of just heavy rain, but it wasn't like storms. But then later in around an hour or so, we have severe storms coming. That's when the severe storms are gonna hit and they are supposed to last most of if not the rest of the day so yeah 
So in this hour, we're gonna try to get as much done as possible. We're gonna be doing the 3D Halloween adventure right now. We've made it in here though. I don't know how it's gonna look. Obviously the camera doesn't have 3D glasses. The room's upside down, but now it's right side up. And now it's upside down again. You can't tell on camera, but I, I, I think I'm spinning. Am I upside down? We got the candy corn room. What is your guys' thoughts on candy corn? I feel like they're the most hated candy. There, I, I'm not like a huge fan of them, but they're okay. We made it out of the 3D Adventure House. We're now gonna be heading towards the haunted house that is on the other side of Marketplace. Actually, we are gonna be going into Santa's Mary Marketplace real fast. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not a door. You've gotta be kidding. <laughs> We're now gonna be going into Carnival Chaos. Oh no, this is not gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, I just ran into a wall. Oh, we're going the wrong way, yeah, are we? What on earth? There's a Holiday World employee. We're back into 4th of July right now. We're gonna start riding some rides uh, now. Um, it's actually already halfway through our day. We got here at 12 and it's four o'clock right now. The park closes at eight. Uh, we're gonna ride some rides here on 4th of July and then head back down towards Thanksgiving and ride the voyage. Definitely make sure we get a ride on it before the storms get here. I just rode the firecracker and now uh, I'm gonna be riding the Liberty Launch. Just got off the Liberty launch. And now you know what time it is. I'm gonna be doing the three point contest. I don't think any of like the scoreboard or electronics and stuff is working, but we're still gonna do the three point contest one last time here in 2023. Okay, the last three point contest of the year was probably the worst. I only got five points. That may be my lowest. I, actually, that definitely is the lowest I've got all year. So that was a very bad performance. Next year, when we're back for opening day, I'm making sure to get at least 17. That's not even possible, but. I don't know if we will do Eagle's flight since probably the seats are wet and that's nothing too special. And I would say we do the revolution, but it is closed, so. I think it's time to head down towards Thanksgiving. We've been watching the radar. Uh, the storms are still getting closer and closer. So we're gonna make sure to ride the voyage because who knows, we may not be able to get a night ride on it. So when we go down there, that could be the last ride of the year on it. So that's where we're heading right now. What on earth? There's a ton of tombstones. Been dismembered, may he rest in pieces. What on earth? Rolling stone gathered no moss. Right now, we're a little over halfway through our day. We've already done a lot of stuff throughout the park. So I think right now would be a good time to go to one final compilation for this year of all the rides here at Holiday World.
There's some show going on over there. Looks like some dance or singing show. Hopefully you all enjoyed that compilation. Uh, obviously it was filmed on a different day a few days ago because uh, I didn't want a rainy compilation and stuff. We were gonna film one today, but uh, yeah. And as you can see, it's actually starting to rain pretty heavy right now. Uh, the trick or treat line's going on over there. There's not too many people though. We are hurrying back to the voyage though right now. We're gonna make sure to ride it before it possibly shuts down and who knows, maybe down for the rest of the night. So we're hurrying back there right now. We're back at the voyage in Thanksgiving. There really is no line now. Hopefully the storms kind of hold off or so and uh, we get some night rides on it later. We still have a little over three hours left in our day. But with these storms coming in right now, there is a very possible shot that this ends up our last ride on the voyage here. Oh gosh, the rain is really starting to come down. We got the back seat and it is time for what could be, hopefully not, but maybe the final ride of the year on the voyage in the rain in the very back seat. Oh my gosh. If that does end up being the final ride on the voyage of the year, that maybe up there for the best ride I've ever had on it. We had the very back seat. I don't know if they had the thing sped up already and the trim brakes off, but it was flying. Uh, the rain kind of hurt, but honestly, it still made the ride better. That was wild. The rain felt like little pellets hitting you and right whenever you went into the tunnel, like big ones hit you in the face. But like I said, it honestly kind of made the ride better. So a little update, it's about an hour since the last clip that you saw. Uh, we came in here and it rained and stormed pretty strong for about 20 minutes. Then after that, uh, the storm part stopped. It was still raining. Uh, they opened up some of the flat rides. So we went and rode uh, Turkey Whirl and then went to Halloween and rode Hollow Swings and the Scrambler. It was still raining, so I didn't want to get the camera out, but uh, they opened some of the flat rides, but they just shut them all down. They shut every ride down because uh, there's some more pretty bad storms with thunder and lightning rolling in right now. Uh, it's almost six o'clock, so uh, the park's scheduled to close at eight. Hopefully there's another clearing somewhere in there where maybe we can try to get a few rides on some other rides and stuff before closing. Everyone, it is about 20 minutes later. The storms have stopped. Uh, they are possibly going to restart uh, later, but uh, right now the rides have opened back up and it's still raining a little bit, but not too bad. And we are going to take advantage of this time. You see, it is getting dark out already. So we're going to have an hour and a half of night rides. They just got the rides uh, going again. There goes the Thunderbird. You can hear the voyage going. I really apologize. I feel like we have uh, just done nothing uh, almost this whole day. We've been uh, stuck inside for the last two uh, hours. And then there was another hour we earlier today when we were stuck in Santa's Mary Marketplace. I'm not even kidding you. I have probably seen 10 people from walking all the way to Pilgrim's Rock Cafe, all the way up to the Thunderbird. There is no one left in the park. Look at this. There is no one. Five times in probably less than 20 minutes, uh, that was crazy. The rain really started to come down on the last uh, ride there and it kind of hurt. But like I said, even though it kind of hurts, the rain makes it a lot more intense. Now though, we have around an hour and 10 to 15 minutes or so, we're heading down to the voyage. And I'm not even kidding you, uh, we may ride it the rest of the night. No! No! Another storm. Please just let them keep the voyage going. Well, we have made it down to Thanksgiving. Uh, we're gonna see, uh, or I guess Thunderbird isn't. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, I was about to say, we're gonna see if the voyage is still going, but uh, I doubt after that it will be. Yeah, so the voyage is closed. Uh, geez, the lightning's going crazy right now. We're gonna look at the radar and I was hoping the storms would be done, but if it looks like there's gonna be storms for the rest of the night and the voyage is gonna be closed the rest of the night, 
we may go ahead and head out even though there's still an hour left. Oh no. So we waited about 30 minutes or so. Uh, the rain has and storms have slowed down, uh, but uh, we just talked to the lady. There's still about 20 minutes till it reaches eight o'clock, but they still have not been given any uh, signs of being cleared to go for the voyage. And they said, even if they do, uh, they have to do 15, 20 minutes of testing. So there is no chance of it opening back up. So. That is a wrap for the holiday world season. We didn't get a night ride on the voyage. Definitely not the final day we were wanting, but still, uh, it was still fun though. We still got to get some night rides on the Thunderbird and still did a decent amount of stuff with the time we had. And as we walk to the front of the park, that is an end to the 2023 amusement park season. What a year it was. Started all the way back at the very end of March, uh, traveling over 10 hours to Carowinds, and now like six, seven, eight, I don't know, math months later, we're here and- We've made it to the top of the park. And Holiday World, it has been a great year. We will be back on opening day next year, but it's time to head out. So that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. This was a really fun video going up to Holiday World on the final day of 2023. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed all of the 2023 amusement park year. Uh, it was a lot of fun, made so many cool videos, and 2024 is going to be even crazier. I know you guys love these videos. And to this video, I know the day kind of went crazy with all the storms, but it was still a lot of fun, and hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you all are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We have so many cool videos coming out soon. You're not going to want to miss. Also, make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. And lastly, make sure you guys buy the merchandise. Very first link in the description below. But that is going to be all for today's video. Holiday World Final Day Vlog 2023. Thank you all for watching. But until next video, see ya! Say that it feels right.